pressure. I can't imagine the police apart, like attacking them and having raids. And uh, their agents coming and breaking up our families as well, right? So we're here to stand against this oppression and let people know that it's the state who is guilty. And ultimately, we have to ask ourselves, who will they be brought to justice? Who is going to bring them to justice? It's going to be the people, right? The power of the people. And we see that power from Egypt, from Wisconsin, from Tucson. Yeah. <laughs> crucial is that we were never taught that this is here. I mean, we, we never were taught that it was a barrier that was never told to us. And that's something that I really feel strongly now and that we're realizing is us as young as we are, we're in our mid twenties and we remember having those teachings and also um, knowing what it was like to move freely and to be with our grandparents and to know that these places were here. But now with people younger than us and especially our children now, they're not gonna have they're not gonna know what that feels like. They're them growing up here, they're going to have that feeling of being, um, of having borders, of, of, of knowing that they can't um, cross or having that fear or having that restriction on them. They're going to, that's what they're going to grow up in. Um, that's what they're in right now, but our hope is that they don't have to grow up in it and that they don't have to live in it when they're our age or when we're older and that they'll, they'll, um, They'll, they'll have that simple feeling of freedom that we had when we were growing up. Um, yeah. That's why we're here and that's why we need to share because uh, it's, it's, it's about our children, it's about our, about our uh -uh and wanting the best for them and wanting a good future for them without borders. Without this thing right here. <laughs> yeah. right now, you know, yeah, we weren't raised that way. Only until, you know, I got into my teens and a little older, you know, you start seeing these things and, you know, understanding it and hearing people text. I mean, people texting or calling me or seeing messages on the computer about what's going on. And it's very difficult because, you know, we don't want that here. You know, we don't want to, you know, have. Have this, have this border here, you know, because it creates borders in our minds. It creates borders where we're not able to have those connections or, you know, as young people, you know, carrying on the traditions, carrying on the stories, carrying on all these things that made us strong, you know, and the physical border, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of, it's trying to do that, but it's not going to, you know, and as far as like our, what we're trying to, what we are going to do, you know, is to keep, keep that going, you know, and share and let the younger ones who are underneath us, you know, know that, you know, and that's where, you know, we need to create ways that are coming from us, that no one else is going to help us but ourselves as far as getting that out there, you know, and I guess that's why we're here today, and uh, overall, you know, it's, it's definitely something that's going to be in my, our lifetime that we have to face, you know, with, you know,